Good morning, boys and girls. Mr. Baxter's Learning Channel is your place to be. Buzz, bee. Hey, good morning, boys and girls. It is Tuesday, April the 28th, 2020. Uh, today is, uh, we're continuing our Golden Isles Elementary Virtual Spirit Week, and today is Take a Selfie with Your Pet Day. So, got a surprise for you guys. Little guest joining us today for a little bit of fun. Say, guys, say hello. Say, hey, Cosmo. Say, hey. All right, I can't wait to see you guys with your selfies, uh, with your pets today. Remember, it's a terrific Tuesday. We're getting ready to have a little bit of math fun. Today we're going to be talking about Eureka uh, Kindergarten Module 5, Lesson 7, all right? And I will get Cosmo back out into his world. Say bye, Cosmo. And we will ring our bell. Oh, he's going to get a haircut, guys. He's been waiting on a haircut for weeks with all this social distancing. Bye, buddy boy. Thank you. All right. All right, guys. So like I said, it is math day. Eureka, module seven, I'm module five, lesson seven. I'm going to get the uke out of the way and we're going to ring our bell. We always want to start our math with those good vibrations, right? Here we go. Kind of gets the brain ticking, gets us going. All right, our bell is rung. Let's zoom in to check out where we're going, guys, and how we will get there. We've been working with some very special numbers. So today, boys and girls, where we are going, or what we're learning, is I can count to find how many. We're going to continue counting to find how many, and we're looking at our teen numbers. We call those our teen numbers because we hear teen at the end as we say them. The T numbers are from 11 all the way through number 20. And how we're going to get there, or the way that we're going to show what we know today, is I will say my T numbers the say 10 way. And we're going to bring back a friend of ours, a, a strategy that we know how to use very well, called our number bonds. Now, we know a number bond has hole up in the middle. There's our hole. And that's where we write how many there are all together. Now, we've been doing the say 10 way, so one of our parts down here, we've got a hole and two parts, and I'm going to back back, and we're going to do a little dance real quick together, okay? So, as Baxter Bees, we like to say, here's our number bond. All right, here's our hole up in the top. That's where all we go all together, all together. But down here, we have our parts. Here's a part, and here's a part, and we like to go... Part, part, whole, part, part, whole, part, part, whole, number bonds. That's how we rock a number bond as a Baxter B. So I want you to think part, part, and then parts come together to make the whole. Now, hint, hint, you're going to be doing the say 10 way where we say a group of 10 and then how many are left over. So each time you have a teen number, one of your parts is going to be 10. All right, when we're using our say 10 strategy, one of our parts for our number bonds is going to be 10. All right, here's how it's going to go. We're going to go over a couple of things together, and then we're going to take a look at your seesaw activity for today. All right. Here's our math board for today, guys. All right. Let's slide. Can you see? Okay. All right. Now, these are our parts from our, uh, these are our strawberries and our lemons from the last time we were doing math together. We were making strawberry lemonade. Now over here, we've got them in a couple of 10 frames. I see one group of 10, and then I see one, two, three, four lemons. So we would say that as 10, four, right? And now we know 10, four is a teen number. It's gonna have one group of 10, I'm going to write 10 right here to show that that's, that's how many strawberries we needed. All right, and then let's count how many lemons we needed. One, two, three, four. I'm going to write four right out here. That shows me I have 10 in this group and I have four down here. Now we have, we get, let's count out how many there are all together. I don't have to go back and count these because I know this is a full group of 10. So I'm going to count on 10. 11, 
12, 13, 14. You're right. All right, so can you find 14 over here on our 100s chart with us? We'll count out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We move down to the next level. 11, 12, 13, 14. One hint, guys, is you always want to look for the number of ones you have left over. You see the number 4 and the number 14. We remember that from using our hide zero cards. Let's take a quick look at those. Where we have the number 10. And then let's find our number 4. It's in here somewhere. There it is. Here's our number four. We know that's the number four because it's a straight line down across and down once more. But also, remember, our high 10 cards have those numbers on the back where we can check the dots. Now, our high zero cards allows us to, we see 10 for our 10, uh, our 10 strawberries. We hide that zero with the four lemons, showing us the number 14. Right. Right there. You guys are rocking and rolling. But now, I told you, we want to use our old friend number bonds. And we're gonna do this two ways, okay? Well, I'm gonna use the number bond to show these parts as a whole. And then I'm gonna show you how you can transfer these numbers to make your new number. Now, you guys are math geniuses. Now, these math problem makers are gonna start trying to trick you. Here, down here, I have two number bonds. Just because they changed our whole and our part shapes to squares, I don't want you to get confused. We still have our hole, which has two legs that go together, and our parts. Each part has one leg, and each part walks up the legs to join in the hole. Now, we're gonna do this one together with our, our strawberries and our lemons, and then we're gonna write our numbers over here to show our work, okay? So, one of our parts is gonna be our 10 strawberries. I'm gonna move them down here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweet. So see, one of my parts for my strawberry lemonade is ten strawberries. My other part is my one, two, three, four lemons. All right, as we're doing this, we're gonna use our numbers to fill out this number bond. How many strawberries are in this part? 10, right? Remember, we filled up a 10 frame here, and I remember because we wrote our number out right here. All right, so I can write 10 in this part, showing the 10 strawberries. Now, let's take a look over at our other part. Over here, we have one, two, three, four lemons. Let's check up here. Remember, there was one, two, three, four lemons. And we remember that because we see our number down across, down once more. That's the way we write our four, right? So I can show a four over here in my number bond to show my, my part of the four lemons. Thank you. You guys are rocking and rolling this math with me, okay? Now, what we want to do is we want to combine or combine, compose, Put together, addition, start thinking. I know those math brains are going. We're going to combine our parts up in our hole because that's where we show them all together. So I need to move my 10 strawberries. Oh, right, we got all 10 strawberries up there. And then I need to move my four lemons. Let's remember, we're making some yummy strawberry lemonade. Trust me, you want more strawberries than lemons in there, okay? All right, so now we've moved our 10 strawberries up to the top, which means I need to move the 10 up there. And then, we move, and then we're gonna take our four strawberries up there. But I want you to see something. I can't move 10 up there and four up there. Did I make the number 14? No. Remember, with our hide zero cards, 
you have to remember when you're putting your 10 and your four together, you have to remember to make that four hide the zero. So our 10 and our four are gonna meet together in the hole to make the number 14. Sweet. All right, now you've seen it up here on the board. I want you to see how you're gonna do it on your seesaw activity today. So let's take a look together. We'll get the math board out of the way. Get our seesaw pulled up. Now, here is your first problem for today. You are going to be, this is your story problem, all right? So what your story says